Welcome, I'm Mark Anthony, and you're listening to The Psychic in the Dock.
Welcome back to The Psychic and the Doc. I'm Mark Anthony. I'll tell you, whenever I'm on air with Jana Short, the time just flies by. And uh, Jana, I think we uh, should go to the phone. Let's take another uh, call. Um, Jacob, who do we have on the line? Henry from Texas. You're on with Mark and Jana. Hey, Henry, how you doing? Hey, Henry, are you there? Yes. Perfect. Hey, Henry, this is Mark Anthony. I'm here with Jana Short. How can we help you? Well, Mark, I'd like to find out. Uh, I used to believe in, you know, like I said, luck and, and stuff like that. But I'm trying, I'm finding more and more that it's not luck, but it's more um, like blessings, you know, like gifts from God. Um I'm finding out that it's not not more more so luck. That is a really beautiful way of putting it, Henry. Um, you know, because we use the word luck for a concept to describe. See, luck can go both ways. There can be good luck and bad luck. And what you're describing is positive energy, which is a blessing from God. And so what I'm getting is that this is really interesting um i keep getting all these when i'm connecting with the, the spirits around you i keep getting lots of images of angels now i don't say this lightly i'm not one of these psychics that pulls out angels and unicorns and bunnies i only say something if i get it and when i get images of angels this indicates to me that um this could mean someone either you or connected to you um has an affinity for angels or collecting images of angels uh, but it could also be a trigger for the name Michael. So there's somebody, and of course, we all know Michaels, but um, it's because of Archangel Michael, I get this trigger. Um, does that make sense to you in any way? Uh, a little bit, but but not quite. Um, all right, a little bit in what the, way? Go ahead. Well, I do know people who believe in angels and collect angels. Um, I know that my wife's uh, mother was real religious and her dad was too and i'm thinking that that could be part of what's going on but Did, um, is i was that always your... told go ahead go ahead i was always told when i was a kid you know when i used to do things that you know my mom and them would say oh you know you're you get this from your grandfather on your dad's side well I've, i'm wondering if Things can get passed down through generations uh, from the oh. other side. All right. When you say things, what do you mean by things? Because if you're well, talking I about, love, go ahead. I like being creative. I, I like building things out of wood. I do stuff, scroll saw work. Uh, somebody has something that's broken on a piece of furniture. I usually get it from them, duplicate it. And, you know, and I usually don't charge anything. I've made toys for kids and, and things like that. And, but, you know, they said that one of my relatives in Finland used to do admiralty model work on ships. And it was all wood. And they always said, well, you know, you take after him, so he's so crafty and everything. But I don't know if it's that or if, like I told you earlier, if this is all like a blessing from God that, that he sees the skills and the want that I have to create. Jenna, what's your take on this? Well, I feel like even the negative stuff we get sometimes is a blessing from God. We just don't see it yet. And I believe 100% that we do carry things from our ancestors that are ingrained in us that we have no idea that even went on. And so when they're saying that you take after, an, is it an uncle? I, I think it's going to be more of a, a great, great grandfather. Uh, I've never met the man. Uh, he passed uh, before my, uh, my dad's family came here to the United States. So I'm, I've never met the man, but I've always had the urge to build, make things out of wood. I've built wooden ships as a, as a kid. I've built wooden planes, and now I'm getting into building furniture. I built my wife her first uh, piece of furniture last year, and it's just amazing me and put me in awe that this ability is coming more and more out of me at my age. Well, let me ask you this. You can get your eyes from a 
a grandparent. You can get your smile from a great, great aunt. You can get your hair color. Why couldn't you get part of your essence from, from your past? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping so because I'm really enjoying what I do and I would like to pass it around or be able to make extra income on it. But well, there right you go. now, I feel, you know, Hold on. right now, huh? I feel that that's not my direction. Right. But you see, this is your manifestation. This is your positive mindset and it's leading you to a creative endeavor and working with wood. There's something to me sacred about working with wood. You know, maybe it's the way I was raised, you know, believing in, in Jesus and his stepfather, Joseph, working with wood and being carpenters. Exactly. There's something very special exactly. about working with this and now you're manifesting it. Also, I was part of, um, the um, Ancestral Healing Summit uh, through the Shift Network recently, and there were several different speakers, and I was one of them, and we talked about how the spirits of ancestors can actually connect with us and transmit to us healing, uh, positivity, um, um, high energy, and from everything that you're, you're telling us, and, and with, with Jana's input, that sounds exactly to me what's happening. And, and the fascinating thing, Henry, is you realize it. So, you know, you're asking about it because you're thinking about it. And when you're thinking about it, that means that you are picking up on a signal, which is what I call a frequency beacon from a spirit. And this is all very, very positive. So, Henry, keep at it. You're on the right path. Do it to it. All right. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. All right. So, um, Jana, um, I want to talk a minute about Best Holistic Life magazine. Now, this is this an online publication um, in addition to being hard copy, or how does Best Holistic Life magazine work? It is. It is a digital online magazine because I consider myself a global influencer, and I want, when I put something out there, everyone to be able to get their hands on it. So it's digital, but it's also in print on Amazon. And I literally created this magazine because I'm all about sharing stories like the caller we just had, like they're so powerful and they reach out in this world and start resonating with others. And the more I started putting these out, the more people were asking for them. And we built that magazine to over 240,000 subscribers already in just over a year. So they definitely want to hear those messages of hope. They want to be educated by experts. One of my favorite writers is you, Mark. <laughs> so thank you. I love your story that's coming out. So yes, it's, it's been a real fun journey for me putting that magazine out. It's kind of my baby. Well, you know, I do have to say this. Part of manifestation, and um, hint, hint, I'm giving away a little bit on the next article that I'm submitting for you, Jana, is is yes, you need to put the positive energy and the positive thoughts out there, but it also has to do with your environment and you have to surround yourself with other um, high energy thinkers, um, high performance thinkers, positive energy people. What's that old saying? Birds of a feather flock together. And, you know, I, I surround myself with positive people like Dr. Pat Basile. You know, Dr. Pat and I have been on her show for years and, you know, people call in, I do a reading, she would add her street smart, uh, spiritualist, behavioral, no nonsense, um, uplifting advice. And it just worked. And so, uh, Dr. Pat and I decided to create this show, The Psychic and the Doc. And then um, I don't even know how I came into contact with Jana. And I, I, you know, I'm, I keep thinking like, and, and we clicked right away. And then I realized it's because when, when the opportunity is, is there, the door will open and it's up to you to go through it. And so I consider Dr. Pat and Jana Short two of the high performance thinkers that I like to surround myself with. There's other people involved um, with, with, uh, with projects that I'm working on. Certainly um, my producer and manager, Rocky Trainer. she's you know always positive, always finds uh, the, the Italian lemon ice and the lemon juice. <laughs> and um, and there, there's just a lot of very, very positive people. And the thing is, you've got to surround yourself with people that are going to lift you 
up. And that's one of the things, and that's one of the things that I find very appealing about Best Holistic Life magazine is because holistic, even though it's spelled H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C, to me it's W-H-O-L-E-istic. It's mind, body, soul. It's, it's a whole cross-disciplinary uh, approach. And I think that that's, that is very, very important. So um, Jana, how do people subscribe to Best Holistic Life magazine? They just go to bestholisticlife.com and hit the subscribe button and we will do the rest. We'll deliver you your magazine every time when new issue comes out. Fantastic. Um, uh, Jacob, I understand we have Greg from Minnesota on the line. That is correct. You want to bring him on? All right. Let's, let's, yeah, let's go to Greg. Perfect. Hey, Greg, you're on with Mark and Jana. Okay. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Okay. Thanks for calling into the Psychic and the Doc. Yeah, uh, yeah um, about eight years ago, I had a reading with you, Tom. And uh, right now, what I'm, I've been going through a hell of a couple of years here. My wife, of, uh, we were married 20 years, and uh, she passed away. She was 64 last August from... I'm sorry. Over... <laughs> over... <laughs> It's okay, Greg. She had a um, she had a two and a half year battle with that. Anyway, all right, hold on, uh, Greg. Uh, I think she may be stepping I'm forward. Sorry, and, hold on, hold on. I think I'm she's so stepping forward, and um, yeah, I mean, I I know you indicated that she had like a two and a half year year period that was very difficult. Um, but she is explaining to me the spirit communicating with me, the female energy. Um, it was a long decline. And I get this sense. I feel this tactile sensation of two hands clasping. Um, I, I never like to jump to conclusions, but I really get the sense that you were right there uh, holding your hand when she transitioned. Does this make sense to you? Oh, I, I, I absolutely was. Okay. I, I mean, I it is... Here. It, it is the most that, that whole time. Yeah. Greg, it is the most beautiful sensation that she's transmitting to me. I don't know if you're you're on um, video, but I, I actually feel this clasping, and I feel that um, the two of you were holding each other's hands so tightly. And she said she knew that you could feel the 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 energetic life force drifting from her body, and what she wants you to know, Greg is that was the most beautiful way that she could possibly have transitioned. She loves you more. She said, I love him more than, than my physical life itself. And to have him there holding my hand, she said, it made my transition from this world to the next so beautifully. And Greg, I mean, I'm sitting here and I got tears coming to my eyes because she's projecting the emotion of love, how very much she loves you. She does know that you feel broken and beaten down, but she's also telling me that one of the things that she always loved about you and does still love about you, Greg, is how damn resilient he is. And that's exactly how she put it. She said, you're like, you're like a piece of bamboo, you know, it gets bent, but then it swings back up. And she said that even though you've been beat down and, and you feel like you're smacked around, she said that you are very resilient, very strong, and you always find that inner strength. Jana, um, any, any input here? Well, Greg, I felt, your, I felt your sadness literally the minute you got on the call. I felt your energy. And I am so grateful when those spirits come into my life that impact me as strongly as your wife impacted you. And so, I mean, what a great journey the two of you have had together, right? Yeah, she was only 64. And uh, she was looking forward to her, grand, her grandchildren grow up, you know. And oh, Greg, she's not, miss, her the most. she's not missing a thing. Okay. Yeah. She's, she's not last, missing a thing. And, and you know what, Greg, that's your job year. is to, to let your grandchildren know mm -hmm. what their grandmother was like 
and tell her really happy stories about her. And she said, and if you don't do that, she said, I am going to haunt you. And she's <laughs> laughing. She is like, this woman had a wicked sense of humor on her, Greg. <laughs> so she's doing okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's in the light. I mean, she's laughing. And she's drinking a cup of tea, but she said, she said, but I always like something a little bit stronger. Does that make any sense? No, she never liked it. She never drank alcohol hardly at all. Maybe some wine. <laughs> well, wine's a bit stronger than tea. Okay, well, Greg, thank you so much for calling in. God bless you. Hey, and can I'm I very, very sorry for loss. Can I ask another question? Sure. I, I just was diagnosed with prostate cancer. You have any, you know, it's a low, supposed to be a low risk, but I'm going to start radiation in two weeks. Is there anything you have for on that? Yeah, what she's telling me is that you need to go over to the alkaline diet. You can you can look that up on the internet. But basically, the alkaline diet is you're going to have to eliminate um, the heavy, fatty red meats, anything that turns to acid and sugar in your body. All sugar has to be completely eliminated from your diet. Um, and then you also have to, um, she's telling me that you also have to um, start incorporating uh, eating like raw ginger and raw garlic. Um, and of course, there's a lycopene in the saw palmetto. But the alkaline diet is going to be essential to you to working in tandem with the radiation. And then, of course, drinking lots of water okay. to keep yourself hydrated. And the interesting thing about about the alkaline diet. You can alkalize your water. You can go buy the real expensive alkalized waters or just get a regular bottle of water and put a pinch of baking soda in it and voila, you've turned a 10 cent bottle of water into a $4 and 50 cent bottle of alkalized water. And what it is, even though your body's pH system um, levels are tightly regulated by the body, by adding the alkaline to it, um, sugar turns to acid cancer feeds on sugar cancer thrives in an acidic environment so what you want to do is deprive the cancer of what it feeds on and that's why she is telling me to tell you to do the alkaline diet so there you go yep and her her last words to me were i love you always and she still does Anything uh, about it? A... Greg, Greg, I got to get some callers. I can spend all night with you. So God bless you. Call okay. back. In. You, call, you know, call back in and let us uh, let Doctor Pat and I know how you're doing. All right. Thanks. Okay. Do we have Deb uh, Debbie from Illinois? Yep. And we got Debbie. You're on with Mark and Jana. Okay. Yes. Hey, Debbie. How you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, You're on the air with uh, with me and with uh, the incredible Jana Short. How can we help you? Okay, I want to kind of talk to both of you. Okay, um, mostly Jana to start with. Okay, right. on the manifest manifestation, um, many years ago, I had I was in a relationship, and I had two daughters with this guy and we always remained friends but we split up I ended up getting married and he remarried she hated me I never did anything to her but if I would call my ex and say hey you know or I'd say could I talk to my ex well you can just talk to me so there was like a jealousy thing there and it I hated it because for one thing, it made me mad because it was like, this is not about anything but our children. But anyway, so one night she really made me angry. I had a dream that night. And I had a dream we were sitting in my mom's living room, who's passed now. But at the time, we were sitting in a circle of chairs. And my ex was sitting there, and he handed us both a wedding ring. And... That kind of freaked me out. Well, I called my mom, and I said, because my mom knew there was trouble there, and I said, uh, what do you think? Because my mom was pretty gifted. And she goes, well, what do you think? I said, I would like a decent relationship. And she says, 
well, work on it. And I said, it's really hard because she is dead set against me. <laughs> anyway, so I started turning it around when I said, hey, Trish, this is what's going on. Uh, could you please tell Mike to call me? And it started changing a little bit as it went on. And I kept on saying, be positive, because I wanted my kids to have a relationship with their dad and her and not feel no friction. So I kept on being positive, and see, I could see it coming if I allowed it, and I kept my cool, which it did turn out to be uh, meaningful. Uh, I had to really push at it. But all of a sudden, then she finally started giving in a little bit. She started trusting me. Uh, long story short, they ended up having a baby. I used to be a foster parent, and the baby was born real premature. And uh, anyway, she, I mean, we went, we had family dinners. We actually bought our house. Okay, so Debbie, Debbie, where they we've only got a, Debbie, uh-huh. we only got a few more minutes um, that we're on the air. Okay. Can you crystallize down to a question for Jana? Okay, uh, but the relationship turned out good. So, and Debbie, let me just, I, let me tell you what you did. You did the manifestation, right? You, you decided what you wanted. You mm-hmm. changed your energy. People react to your energy. If I go out and I right. feel like I'm running into nasty people, nasty people, nasty people, I look in the mirror. Right. And I know right. that the energy I'm putting out that day is what I'm attracting to me. Once you changed right. your energy towards her and made a decision on what you wanted and started moving it towards that, like you made a mind map to go there, look what happened. Yes. It, and it did work. Yes. Good job. Now, now do that with everything. Working. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I you do. Know? I do. I do. I use manifestation quite often. And it's Debbie, been really positive. You gave us such Pardon? a good example of how you turn. Uh, you know, I always call it, you know, because I'm of Italian descent, taking lemons and turning it into Italian lemon ice, and that's what you did. You know, you took right. a cervic and bitter um, situation and turned it around. You know, it all comes right. down to when you project love. Okay, that doesn't right. mean everyone's going to be singing kumbaya with you, but you are going to get through right. to the right people. Debbie, thank you for calling. Um, call back in and check with us again. For all the other callers, um, please call in next week. I'm going to be back here with Dr. Pat. And um, Jana, please let everyone know how they can get hold of you and so how they can sign up for the High Performance Thinkers Summit. It's a free summit online. Also for Best Holistic Life magazine. Also, it's free to subscribe. Jana, how do they do that? They can go to janashort.com and they'll find links to everything to everything that, that we just talked about. You'll find there. Fantastic. And anybody who would like to find out more about signing up for a telephone reading with me so I can spend an hour with you and and, uh, we're going to get a lot of people coming through. Also sign up for my newsletter. Please visit my website. I invite you to visit my website, evidenceofeternity.com. And um, that's evidenceofeternity.com. And uh, the psychic and the doc will be back next week with the amazing Dr. Pat. And I want to thank everybody for calling in. And uh, this has just been a really great show. Jana, I especially want to thank you. You're a good friend of the show. And uh, uh, you really are a global influencer. So everybody, many blessings. Namaste. Have a good day. Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to The Psychic in the Dark with Mark Anthony and me, Dr. Pat but silly right here on transformationtalkradio.com. Hey, look, come back next week so we can explore with you more of life's many challenges and learn from fascinating guests. And you know what? Even Mark and me. We'll connect you and discover insights from people in this life and from the afterlife. Extraordinary problems? Yeah, they do. They require extraordinary solutions. But step into the world of possibilities with us on The Psychic and the Doc. That's every Thursday. 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. That's TransformationTalkRadio.com. And don't forget, we're also live face-to-face on Facebook.com, Transformation Talk Radio.